I hear people talking about a, a like a trust that like a vehicle that would be in. It's like a personal something or another trust. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to that and tell, uh, tell us what that is and when would you use it? Well, sure. And we can use what are called personal property trusts. And these are trusts that, that own just that, our per, some of our personal property. And, and you know, you raise the, the issue of a vehicle. Uh, we like to think of assets as, is this the type of asset that, that could cause a lawsuit? Or is this the kind of asset that would never cause a lawsuit? So for instance, cash, securities, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, bank accounts, no one's ever going to have a slip and fall on a bank account. So those are low liability assets that we don't want to mix with high liability assets. So in other words, a, a car can cause an accident, boats, toys, jet skis, all, you know, airplanes, all kinds of things can be high liability assets. And real estate, frankly, is a higher liability asset too. So we generally don't want to mix a car into an LLC where we own our rental properties, or we don't want to mix a car high liability asset where we have our bank accounts. We would use separate entities for those. So yes, you're, you're correct. There are hundreds of types of trusts. Some are irrevocable, others are revocable. Uh, some are living trusts we set up when we're alive. Others become effective when we die called testamentary trusts, hundreds and hundreds of types of trusts, all of which can do different things. Gotcha.